The sky is filled with high-tech flying machines that are more advanced than any aircraft humans have ever made. What are these super high-tech flying objects? There really is no mystery. The most high-tech flying objects in the air around us and the sky above us are birds and flying insects. Even though we see them every day, we often fail to recognize just how high-tech they really are. Here are a few examples of how birds and flying insects have superior technology to any airplane, helicopter, rocket, or even spacecraft ever made by humans. First of all, birds and insects are alive. All living things are made up of highly complex microscopic technology such as DNA and cells. DNA is more advanced than any computer software ever devised by humans and cells are like microscopic cities. The most advanced technology made by humans cannot begin to compete with the least complex living things. Most people can easily identify examples of technology made by humans. Human technology can be found in airplanes, cars, computers, buildings, and many other things that humans make. However, most people cannot identify examples of technology made by God. God's technology can be found in nature, in the universe, earth, birds, insects, and humans. Let's compare God's technology found in birds and flying insects to the most advanced human technology. In this case, let's compare human tech airplanes to God tech birds in five categories. One, original design. Two, speed ratio. Three, landing. Four, repairs. Five, production. The first category in this competition is design. Even though the first successful airplane was built by the Wright brothers in 1903, birds and flying insects had already been flying since God created them. For hundreds or even thousands of years, humans had been observing birds and flying insects and were trying to copy their designs. Today, aircraft engineers continue to copy the designs of birds and flying insects to make better and better aircraft. By copying God's design found in birds and flying insects, engineers are admitting that God Tech has the superior design, so it wins this first category. The second category is speed for size. Of course, airplanes are bigger and faster than birds or flying insects. However, in order to make a fair comparison, we should calculate the ratio of speed for size or in this case, body length. The fastest airplane, the USA's SR-71 Blackbird, flew up to 3,200 kilometers per hour. The fastest bird, a Peregrine Falcon, can fly up to 300 kilometers per hour. The SR-71 airplane is 31 meters long, while an average adult Falcon would have a body length of around 40 centimeters. In other words, the airplane is 77 times longer than the bird. If the bird were the same size as the airplane, it would be flying at around 23,000 kilometers per hour. So God Tech wins the speed for size competition. The third category in this competition is landing. Most airplanes require long runways to take off and land, but birds can easily land on a perch or branch. There are some airplanes that can take off and land without a runway. Many flying insects can land on walls or even upside down on ceilings, so God Tech wins this competition too. The fourth category in this competition is repairs. Aircraft require human mechanics to repair them when they are broken. Remember that humans are living things and therefore are counted as God's technology. On the other hand, birds have the capability to heal themselves from minor injuries and with the help of human veterinarians can survive serious injuries. God's technology wins again. The fifth and final category in this competition is production. Aircraft must be designed by human engineers and built by humans in factories, which were also built by humans. In other words, high technology depends on God's technology but God's technology does not depend on human technology. On the other hand, if you have a male and female bird or flying insect, they can produce more birds and insects like them. 
For example, a female fruit fly can produce around 500 eggs. Airplanes are not alive. They are not male and female, and they can't even get close together without danger. Therefore, it is clear that God Tech wins this category as well for a 5-0 victory over human high technology. There are some important lessons that we can learn from the comparison of human tech and God Tech. 1. God's technology found in living things like insects, birds, and humans is superior to any human high-tech machine. God says this in Isaiah 55, 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. 2. If human tech aircraft could never be made by chance but require intelligent designers and builders, it only makes sense that living things like birds, insects, and humans must have been created by God. 3. Humans have a special value that is higher than birds, insects, or other animals. In Matthew 10 verses 29 through 31, Jesus Christ said, Two sparrows cost only a penny, but not even one of them can die without your fathers knowing it. God even knows how many hairs are on your head, so don't be afraid. You are worth much more than many sparrows. It is clear that human technology will never be able to compete with God's creation, because we humans were created by God. This fact should not discourage us, but should give us peace that God is more powerful and more intelligent than humans, so He can take care of us. The words of John 3.16 are true. God loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son, so that whoever believes in Him may not be lost, but have eternal life. If we accept Jesus Christ's offer of salvation, we can have the hope of eternal life in heaven. Because God exists and is greater than humans, there is nothing that any human can do to take that hope away from us. It is good news. It is not good news because it makes us feel good. It is good news because it is true.